On April 10th, 2021, at the Miramar Invitational in Florida, Shakari Richardson ran away with the women's 100 meter dash in a time of 10.72 seconds. Richardson had been on the rise over the past two years as one of the young stars in the sprints, but this performance was special for a few reasons. This improved her personal best by three hundredths of a second, breaking her already impressive time of 10.75 seconds run at the 2019 NCAA Championships. 10.72 seconds is also the fastest 100 meter time run this early in the year. Never before had any other woman run sub 10.8 seconds in the 100 meters in April, let alone in early April. Before this, the fastest 10.7 second runs were done by Marianne Jones on May 9th and May 12th, 1998, as well as by Merlene Audi on May 30th, 1990. No other woman had run this fast this early. Finally, this moved Shakari Richardson up to number six all time in the history of the 100 meter dash. She now is only behind Florence Griffith Joyner, Carmelita Jetter, Marion Jones, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and Elaine Thompson. Along with that, what's also notable is she is younger than all five of those ladies when they set their personal best, having just turned 21 years old last month. So she has years to continue improving. Now I did a video around this time last year asking if someone would be able to break Flojo's world record set all the way back in 1988. Of course her world record is absolutely insane, but I did have Shakari Richardson on that list of women who could run sub 10.7 seconds. This performance proves that she is on her way to becoming just a fourth woman in history to ever run 10.6 seconds in the 100 meter dash. But we're not talking about the world record today. We're here to ask if Shakari Richardson just became the Tokyo Olympic favorite and if she is on her way to potentially winning a gold medal at the games this year. First, it's important to note some things that she has going for her. At this point, she has run 10.7 seconds on two occasions, the first being 10.75 at the 2019 NCAA Championships, where she broke the 30-year-old NCAA record and really set the world on fire. Then was her recent performance of 10.72 seconds, again, improving her personal best and moving to number six all time in the 100 meters. In addition to these, she has run legal times of 10.99 seconds on two occasions in 2019 and 10.95 seconds in 2020. She also has four windy sub-11 times, 10.94, 10.91, 10.83, and 10.79. So wind or no wind, she is a consistent sub-11 performer and may be turning into a consistent 10.8 or 10.7 runner sooner than later. The only other active women who were really consistent in the 10.8 to 10.7 range are Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, and maybe Tori Bowie and English Gardner. Now Gardner has struggled with injuries the past few years while Tori Bowie has been pretty inconsistent in the sprints recently and seems to be moving towards the long jump while Thompson has also been pretty inconsistent recently and Shelly Ann Fraser Price is on the tail end of her career. So though there is a lot of upside for Richardson, there are a few negatives or more so questions on if she will be able to perform at the highest level. So far, the only time that she has competed at the USA Championships, she didn't really do that well. She made it to the finals of the 100 meters at the 2019 USA Championships, but came in last place, essentially jogging her way through the finish line. This race was almost two months after her 10.75 at the NCAAs and after a long freshman year at LSU, where she had essentially been running since January and had a total of 52 races in her legs at that point, between the 60 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x100 meter relay. The only other major negative is she has only raced against her top international competition on one occasion. At the 2019 Prefontaine Classic, she came fourth place in the 100 meters, and she did beat out Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Tori Bowie, English Gardner, and some others, but she lost to Tiana Daniels, Aaliyah Hobbs, and Marie Jose Talu. So she doesn't have as much experience on the world stage relative to the likes of some other top women like Dina Asher Smith, Elaine Thompson, or some others. These are the ladies that will likely be her top competition come Tokyo, and with all of them having not only global experience, but having won medals at the biggest stages, they all have gone head to head multiple times over the years and know what the pressure is like. But honestly, I think the positives here far outweigh the negatives. All of those ladies I mentioned were young and inexperienced at some point in their career and went on to win global medals. So Richardson seems to be on track to do so as well. 
But before Richardson can challenge for the Olympic gold, she'll have to make it past the US Olympic trials, which is known to be one of the most competitive races in the world. I mean, look no further than the 2016 trials where the top three women in the 100 meter dash all ran 10.7 seconds just to make the team. So who will Richardson's top competition be at those Olympic trials? Well, I'm looking at a deep field of American women who will be vying for those top three spots. I'm looking at Aaliyah Hobbs, the 2018 NCAA champion, who has a personal best of 10.85 seconds and has already run sub-11 seconds this year. Tiana Daniels, the 2019 USA champion and only American to make the world championship final in Doha. Other ladies like Makaya Briscoe, Moralaki Akinison, Javian Oliver, Twanisha Terry, Kayla White, and a whole bunch of other ladies that I didn't mention. So out of this group, do I think that three women will beat Sha'Carri Richardson at trials? Let's be honest, I can't see it happening. In my opinion, something extraordinary would have to happen for her to not make this team. So I think she'll be relatively safe and on her way to Tokyo. Well, now here is where it counts. Assuming she makes it through the rounds and is lined up in that Olympic final, who will she have to get past to make it onto the top of that podium? Well, of course, first we have Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, the two-time Olympic champion and four-time world champion at 100 meters, and arguably the greatest 100 meter runner of all time. Yes, she is 34 years old and is in the second half of her career, but 2019 and 2020 show that she is arguably still in the form of her life. She ran 10.7 on four occasions in 2019 on her way to winning the world championship gold that year. And in 2020, despite the disrupted year, she ran 10.86 seconds and 10.87. We also have Elaine Thompson, the reigning Olympic champion at 100 meters. As I noted before, she has been a little bit inconsistent over the past few years, but she has run 10.73 as recent as 2019, and in 2020 was the best 100 meter runner in the world, having run four of the top six times that year, including the world lead of 10.85 seconds. In addition to the Jamaicans, we have Dina Asher-Smith, who really made a huge jump as one of the top competitors in the past few years. She won the silver medal in Doha 2019 and has a best of 10.83 seconds. She is also only 25 years old, so on the younger side amongst the top ladies right now. A few other ladies to keep note of are Maria Jose Talou from the Ivory Coast, who won silver and bronze in the 100 meters at the 2017 and 2019 World Championships, respectively. Daphne Schippers from the Netherlands, who has struggled with injuries but won a silver and bronze at the 2015 and 2017 World Championships, respectively. Then we can't forget about the Americans, who I mentioned before, who will be making the team with Richardson. Definitely look out for Aaliyah Hobbs to potentially have a big breakout in the 100 meters as well. Remember, I noted she has a personal best of 10.85 seconds, so she's definitely primed to improve upon that. So with that, do I think Sha'Carri Richardson is the favorite for gold in Tokyo this year? Well, honestly, I think she is one of the favorites and currently shares that favorite spot with Shelly and Fraser Price. Fraser Price has been too consistent as of late and really hasn't shown any drop off despite being much older than the rest of the field. She is a 2019 world champion in a year that was arguably the best of her career and she was my favorite entering the Olympic year. Richardson with this recent 10.72 performance moves her up in my opinion to the now equal favorite. But I think Richardson has a really good chance to not only potentially win gold but run sub 10.7 seconds this year as well. So those are just my thoughts, but regardless, I think she is going to continue surprising us all in this Olympic year. So go in the comments below and let me know if you think Sha'Carri Richardson is the favorite to win gold in Tokyo and if she will be able to successfully win that Olympic gold. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.